All right, all right, all right, guys, it is time for yet another episode of Diamond in the Rough. And I apparently have my alt key held down. Whoops. Uh, over here in the top left-hand side of the map in the red, it is Snake. It's opening with a 12 pool. Oh my god. It's one base Ravager. Down here in the bottom right, in the blue, it's a rough. Now, if there's one thing we're going to notice in this series, Diamond in the Rough, same thing with our new series with Print F, the King of Cannons. Both, both of these players are players who are known for their style, and opponents like to try and cheese them. Players on NA Ladder don't like trying to take advantage of an opponent's one-dimensional play style with solid reactive play that seeks to gain solid advantages and finish in the mid to late game. People on the NA Ladder say, I know you like to build your barracks on the low ground, so I'm going to pull every drone off a 12 pool, and I'm just going to go. Oh my god. This is this is filthy. This is filthy. This is filthy. Oh, gets the drone, but he has no idea. Oh my god. How do you even... <clears throat> Surely this is a loss. You're not going to be able to get your barracks finished. There's like no way you can win this game, I don't think, as rough with the barracks down here. Oh my god. That barracks is going to have like 20 seconds of... about Okay, 15 seconds of build time left. Ruff just goes back into his main. He's already got two gases going. I'd love to see him try and hide an SCV down there and see if he can get on that. Or maybe he can wall off his ramp, actually. Cancel that, build three depots. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get up there with some drones. You can't leave them all down there, dude. <clears throat> Ruff's gonna wall off. He walls off, you idiot snake! Oh my god! He thought the barracks of the depot were all that mattered. You've got to block the wall off, you silly billy. Oh no. Pull the drones back, let the zerglings in. Okay, he's still gonna maybe break through. But <clears throat> this is already allowing so many more SCVs, I think, to get built here by Ruff. And if the wall finishes and he can repair it, that's that's gonna be a hold. The, the drones are going back to mine because there's no surface area. Uh oh, the SCVs float to the outside. The SCVs float to the outside. Ruff, you gotta get more SCVs on these barracks. Being too greedy. No! <clears throat> Ruff! Too slow! He's too slow to pull more SCVs on them! Pull more SCVs! You need to repair the second these finish with as many SCVs as possible. But I think he screwed the pooch, guys. I think he was just a little bit too slow putting more SCVs. That, that's gonna fall! It's gonna fall! You gotta repair! You gotta repair! You gotta repair! Oh my god! Two SCVs repair! They barely get on it! Two SCVs repair! Oh my god! How did he know? How did he know that was gonna survive? I would've pulled like eight SCVs there! <laughs> Ruff's been in this situation before! You know he's been in this situation before. <laughs> That's like the moment you see that you're like, did he even break a sweat? And Ruff's like, I, I, be, I play against this every day. This, <laughs> people know I like to build my barracks on the low ground, so they 12 pull, drone pull me a lot. I'm like, what? <laughs> Who knows the reaction to that? Ruff does. Uh, he truly is a gem. Beautiful polished diamond in the rough. Three Reapers are out. <clears throat> How do you even defend that as Snake? Snake's extractor tricking and building a spore just to get a queen out to go oversupply. He's going to try to start a hatch. And these slow zerglings. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is like a playground for these reapers. Oh my god. He lets a reaper get surrounded by slowlings. Okay. The other two reapers are pretty mad about that. You should never lose a reaper to slow zerglings. Uh, this is, yeah, this is, oh, it's like a shooting gallery for them, man. They just, oh. This is like, oh. This is like... People who think it's really badass to go and hunt endangered species, they're like, oh, it's the, the hardest game hunting the, uh, you know, it's the peacock. You're like, what? The peacock? They're like, yes, it's very dangerous. I'm like, it's a harmless flightless bird. It's like the size of a tiger. It's not, it's not even hard to shoot. It can't move very fast. It just stands around looking pretty. Why, why would you hunt that? And you're like, oh, it's, it's the best game. And you're like, you guys are fucking tools. Um, same thing with Reapers that are proud of hunting Zerglings. It's really not that impressive. You're a bunch of wankers, guys. Uh, of course, more and more Reapers are coming out on the map right now. Ruff's like, hey, buddy, I'm comfortable in this game. I've been here before. Snake's like, oh, no, my cheese didn't work. I'm going to try and build a hatch to Queen. Zergling speed's almost done. So it looks like he's going to be banking on the Zergling surround as the response to this. Um... Reapers are going to just have a party, though. Holy crap, man. They're going to go ham on this base. Ooh. Queen out in the open. A few too many grenades all in one spot. We'd like to see those spread out a bit more. Drones being pulled in. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You don't want drones down there. Oh, she comes down and just gets slaughtered. Oh, my God. Her corpse. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 
Gross. So these Reapers, yep, this is, okay. They're having a good party right now. Oh my lord. Ruff is just tooling Snake right now. Oh my god. Okay, okay, oh, okay, okay, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe we stayed too long. Maybe we got a bit too cocky. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh no, the Lings are wrapping around. They're trying to bounce past, but the Reapers get surrounded. Ruff overstaying his welcome. And uh, uh, indeed, just like the hunter who doesn't realize the bear has turned around and started stalking the hunter itself. The, the man with the high-powered rifle doesn't realize he gets charged, swiped to the side, and absolutely uh, ripped to pieces, man. That's why you don't hunt bears or peacocks or other things like that. We've got an engineering bay here, so plus one mass reaper is on the way. And a command center on the other side of the map. Does that see that? Oh, you're kidding me. What? What? Get your eyes checked, you stupid oval. How can you not see? It's just there. Oh, and they have eight eyes. I can't see it. Dude, it's 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 literally in vision. Can't see. Oh my god, idiot! All right, so Snake has no idea about the <laughs> the incoming command center planetary fortress rush with Mass Reaper. This is a classic rough strategy. We're talking about in episode number one. He did this in an MLG match one time, and and won with it on um. Was it on Catalina? Someone find me that VOD. Sorry, if someone already linked it before, please link it again in chat and then link it up again when the game's finished. Was it, it was a map on Catalina, I think, where he did it. Do you guys remember Catalina, the one the octopus in the middle? Awesome old school map. Kind of terrible map to play these days. Um, I think it was in Dream Pool, or they brought it back at one point in one of those, those old pools. It was pretty cool. Um, so Reapers are coming across the map right now, and they're going to join up with the Planetary Fortress. Snake's like, yeah, you know I can just put a Zergling under that, and you, you can't land it, right? You, you know I can do that. An engineer. Oh my god, that engineering bay is to create a choke point. Oh my god. Oh, you huge brain bastard. Oh my, Snake can't believe his eye. He's like, what? What did you just do? <laughs> and now they're using the command center. Oh my god, rough. Rough. Oh, <laughs> I don't care if you're not a fan of Ruff's plays or Ruff's personality. You have to respect what you just saw. That was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> he drops a mule. It's repairing. The planetary's going to get up. He's pulled all of his drones. They're all dead. <laughs> oh my god. You disgusting, disgusting creature. I love you, Ruff. Look at this. I was like, why is he building an engineering bay there? It took me a few seconds to put it together. And then just like, look at that. He's like, nice surround, buddy. Nice surface area. Hops back to the high ground. Snake's just like. You know Snake was rocking back and forwards in his chair. Just like, <gasps> fuck, vein throbbing on his forehead. Blood pressure going up. He's just freaking out, man. Could have just been freaking the hell out. Holy crudsicles. That was beautiful, honestly. Ruff's like, I've done this 4,000 times across my StarCraft <laughs> my Starcraft career. This is a standard response. I still love the opening, by the way. This is, this is the sort of thing. This is why we make fun of NA Ladder, because if you know someone's got a sort of predictable play style, there's so many kind of ways you can reliably take advantage of it. But I know players like Printf and Ruff play against players who just do this every day, where they're like, no, nope, you play weird. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheese you and try to blind counter you with a cheese. The funniest thing is when it gets mess mis-executed. Like, I was looking at this, like, there's no way you can win this game as Ruff. What are you going to do? Build a, a bunk, a, ba a barracks in the back, cancel that one. Like, how are you, how are you going to survive? You're going to have to fight SCVs versus these drones. There's going to be a ton of lings joining in. Um... Those lings felt really late, by the way. Are those lings late? Is it just me? Let's... So he goes... Th is it a 14 pool? No, no, no. It's a 12 pool. It's tw okay, 12 pool. It was like two seconds late. Let's watch where this 40 pool finishes. Did he... Did he forget to build Zergling straight away? No, he built them immediately. Okay, yeah, no, they were on time. They were on time. Okay, no worries. But yeah, he's going to have Zerglings and drones versus just SCVs. Like, you're screwed. I just love that he didn't send any drones to the high ground, though. And Ruff's like, I'm actually going to get enough minerals to wall this off? Because, look, when he cancels that, that gives him an extra 125 minerals. Or whatever it is, 137. And he's just like, bam, bam. 
Oh my god, this was still so so sick. Like honestly, Ruff really screwed up early on by not pulling extra SCVs. He should have already had two extra SCVs in case these SCVs floated to the wrong side like they did. So he was a little bit slow getting that SCV on it. And then even then here, this is also him being greedy. Like mining three on each gas is not important. He should be mining minerals. And that SCV, when that one floats over, it gets so dicey so quickly. Because look at this, this SCV goes over and it dies, as does that one. And it takes him a few seconds. We're fast forwarded to get here. And I think these barracks got down to like 50 hit points each. They're, this one's this one's down to 80, 80, 80, 80, up, back up to 100, 120, 100, 100. He's focusing on the one on the left. It's down to 80, 70, 60, 60, 60, 70, 80. And it's going back up. This one on the bottom, 50 hit points. I think maybe even 45 at some point there. <laughs> Just stays cool under pressure. Minimal SCV pool. And uh, yeah, he did forget to pull guys off gas, but then he ended up using that gas for the mass reaper in the follow-up, so it worked out. <laughs> and then the planetary. This was this is legendary. All right, GG, well played, Ruff. Introduces Snake to a world of hurt. Ruff is known for playing like an absolute weirdo pasta breaker. You guys would see me when I play Ruff. I scout, like I have like, normally I scout maybe two or three set stages plus a little bit of poking around when I'm not sure what's happening in, in a game. When I play against Ruff, I have like eight pre-planned scouting trips. Where I'm like, we're going in again. I got to check what's going on in this base because I have absolutely no idea because he will go like three factories. And that's that's actually how he beat me in the last game. He showed three factories, killed my overlord, canceled them and built three star ports and made BCs. And I was like, uh, uh, he's a tricky, tricky smart boy. Lots of real clever things. Um, we actually cast a game of Ruff versus Neuro. If you guys... Uh, if you, if you search pig Starcraft washing machine, um, there's a video called like, this is what it feels like to be inside a washing machine. And it's unfortunately my good friend Neuro falling victim to Ruff's disgusting uh, ghost drop combined with liberator harass. And it was, it's just, it's a dirty game. It's from one of the WCS qualifiers. And it's like, Ruff just plays like this every game. He's an absolute legend. Guys, thank you very much for enjoying this cast. We'll be back with more Diamond in the Rough in the future. Thanks for hanging. I should say, like, don't forget to like and subscribe. My sub count's gone down. We should we should say that more at the end. We should be like, well, it hasn't gone down, but it, it hasn't been growing as fast. We've got a good sub count. We're at like 33,000 on, on YouTube, which is awesome. It's really cool. Lots of people watching YouTube, which is nice.